Okay, is there anything worse in this world than eating dried chicken? Actually, there's probably a lot of things that are worse in this world than eating dried chicken, but just because you are in isolation doesn't mean that you have to eat it. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some delicious chicken thighs. Okay, you might be wondering, why aren't I using some chicken breasts? Well, there's really three reasons for that. The first reason is that chicken breast is a little bit boring for me. Thigh meat tastes way better. You don't have to add any fat when you're cooking it because it has a ton of fat that's on it. And three, it's a whole lot cheaper. So let's go ahead and show you guys what you need to do. First thing you're gonna need is just salt and pepper and you're just gonna sprinkle that all over the top. The next thing that you are going to need is a cold non-stick pan, just like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it on super, super low, the lowest setting that you have, and make sure that it's completely dry, there's nothing weird in it. And we're gonna go ahead and we are just going to lay the chicken thighs skin side down inside of this pan. Okay, so you might be wondering why the cold pan? Well, first of all, what's gonna happen is as this pan starts heating up, it's gonna start rendering all of that fat that's in the chicken thigh, and it's gonna start kind of frying itself, and you are gonna have a perfect, crispy chicken skin after this. And so I'm gonna try and capture this, but you're gonna start to see that these thighs are going to start rendering that fat and it's gonna start cooking all on its own. Literally is the easiest recipe of all time. All right, you see how the pan's starting to warm up? It's gonna start rendering that fat right there and it's gonna start crisping up the skin and it's going to be awesome. So as you start to see it start to warm up, and you're gonna see some of that fat start to render, you're gonna to start to slowly turn up the burner just a little bit at a time. And then when it starts to really start cooking, we're gonna cover it and we're gonna let it sit on medium for about 15 to 20 minutes. As you can tell right now, it is an absolute party in the pan right now. And so all you're gonna do is put this thing on medium heat like that. And you are gonna take a lid and you are going to cover it for 20 minutes. The party is over for this chicken. Look at that, delicious. Okay, this part is optional, but what you can do is flip over the chicken so it starts cooking on the other side. Okay, there you have it, some perfectly cooked chicken thighs. You can hear when I put the fork across the top of the skin, extra crispy and delicious. Now check it out. Completely cooked all the way through. And this is the bite right here. Don't ever eat dried chicken again.